One of the thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't go without fighting. Uh, <laughs> they, they've got to be heard. The topic today, though, I think really is one that is sort of broached on from time to time, but is among the most significant of this election year of 2012. Keep in mind that self-identified independent voters in the electorate moved 17 points from 2008 to 2010. That is, they moved for Barack, Barack Obama and the Democrats in 2008, and then two years later, for a variety of reasons, including the health care bill, they moved 17 points the other way to eight points against the Democrats. <coughs> So they, in a sense, you can make a very good case that they've decided our recent elections and that they stand poised in this election to be crucial and essential to who will be president in 2013. I think independent voters also are interesting uh, for a number of other reasons. They are very attractive for people who dislike modern partisanship. partisanship you know, it's very common to say we live in a polarized society, polarized around